Hi guys, it's your friendly neighborhood yawning cat and we are here with the third episode of the Two Broke Girls LP. And if you're wondering, hmm, this usually looks like the same thing that, you know, Taylor always does, just sitting at Jaden's computer and writing her stories. Yes, yes she does because she is the writer. However, if you were looking for change, you came to the right kind of episode because we're actually going to take Taylor and we're going to take Zoe out and we're going to have a little bit of a, um, you know, date we're going to see how the girls are going to actually get along when they are sort of made to sit at the same table um maybe we're actually going to go out there's this cute ice cream shop in windenburg and windenburg is actually one of the favorite um towns for the girls to take a ride to when they go and party and stuff so we're actually going to have taylor take zoe out to an ice cream shop going to have them eat some ice cream chat over it and see what kind of, you know, sparks may fly uh, when they're all alone, uh, well, <laughs> surrounded by other people in the restaurant, but, you know, alone outside of the borders of the house where, you know, Jaden may happen to be, because as you've noticed, and I don't know if you have, but um, as I've mentioned in the last episode, Jaden did have a little bit of a misunderstanding with Zoe, so they are not starting off in the best of terms. However, um, you know, she's just going to have to deal with the fact that Taylor is going to hang out with Zoe, and we'll see what that means for the two girls. So we're going to have her make some delicious stuff, and I just don't know what kind of delicious stuff we could make. Um... um could I use not fresh stuff? Or like, oh, so, like, uh, okay. Hmm. We could make, like, oh, <gasps> fruit pie. Oh, I want to make a fruit pie. Oh, she would definitely make a fruit pie. Can we buy produce? Like, is there a thingamajig here? Are you here? <gasps> it's working. Wait, 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 wait. We need to shop, and Taylor needs to grab the posters and sell them on Sims Bay because they do not have enough money to pay the bills and then also have some, you know, leftover cash that they could live on. So we're going to look for the posters, and here is Akira. And just so you know, like when I got CD Living, actually, um, that was when I just fell in love with the game in a whole new way and I created the sim and she actually married Akira because <laughs> damn that guy is gorgeous uh, my husband likes to say that he's ugly and stupid <laughs> simply because uh, when I watch like uh, other simmers play um, like play with sims and they get together with Akira he's always like why would you do that like Akira is ugly and stupid <laughs> so yeah <laughs> Um, okay, so she actually achieved a milestone of being a best-selling author, um, and she now has to do, have written for 15 total hours, so she only has two hours left to complete that, and then five, write five good books. So she hasn't actually written a good book yet. Oh, wait, it's excellent? Loving in Spite of Things, short story. That's an excellent quality. Oh, yes, girl, yes. Wait, crap, I didn't want to go into the bookshelf, no. I wanted to sell to publisher, loving in spite of things. And then we can just go and look for the posters, and we're going to have you, oh, yep, yep, crap. Okay, we're going to grab an apple, a carrot, cherry, uh, mm, let's grab some grapes. So grapes are expensive. Maybe a lemon, mm, a mushroom, an onion, a pear, a banana, or a plantain, a pomegranate, mm, potato, strawberry tomato. Mm, let's actually grab some grapes. We're just not going to grab blackberries because they are expensive as fuck. Oh, that was 177 bucks. Oh, girl. Girl is expensive. Okay, wait. 
a neat screenshot of her buying stuff. She, oh, and Akira is walking around sad, I think. Wait, I don't want him to be in the cut video. Well, but video. I don't want him to be in the snap, but... Oh, he's not sad. He's just walking around being like, Hello, ladies. I am swaggy as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And Miko's like, <laughs> I'm not stalking him. It's not stalking if he doesn't see me. <laughs> She's like, I feel like the story of theirs as roommates is definitely like, one of them definitely has the crush on the other and Darling is just there like, um, I ran away from home and I'm living with these two and uh, damn do they have problems. Okay, we are going to bake. Let's bake something yummy. Oh, I think we can have, a, now we're going to have a lot more options. We can make a fruit pie and a sweet potato pie. <gasps> Let's make a sweet potato pie. Mmm, mm, lemon bars. Mmm, but I don't want, I want a lemon meringue pie. Can she make it? She can make a shepherd's pie. <gasps> Carrot and potato. Oh, we've already made uh, fudge bars. Spinach and mushroom quiche, carrot cake. Damn, I think we're going to mm, our fruit pie. Let's make a sweet potato pie. Definitely. Okay, she found some posters. Yay, 200 bucks. Oh my god, yes. Okay. And when she's done with that, she's going to have to sleep because she is tired. She has been writing throughout the night. Like I said, she's definitely one of those people. She writes during the night. She, you know, she's active during the day. She just gets a few hours of sleep and then she's like, perfect. This feels like I'm going to be okay. <laughs> and not. And she's like, I am making this food and it is going to be good. Uh, actually, you have no idea what's going to happen to them, but... <laughs> Girl, you're going to love it when it happens. Uh, I've actually planned out a few, like, troublesome things for them happening in the future. So stick around with this LP to see what happens to these girls. And do, 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 we're making sweet potato pie, sweet potato pie. Okay, and then she's going to... When is she going to work? Oh, in five hours. Okay. She needs to grab something. Mmm. I'm going to have her actually grab some. Um, let's have her grab a piece of this. Grab, grab some sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. And then she already has a sack lunch, so she does have to write a column. So we are going to do that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we are going to have Taylor. See, why is this here? Like, why do these glitches happen to me? <laughs> Please, okay. She's going to make some coffee. Have her pee, shower, make some coffee, clean up. And then we can actually go back to sleep. No, because she'll drink some coffee, so maybe she won't have to go to sleep. And when Jaden goes to work, she's going to go on a date with Zoe. And if you're wondering, oh, but like, wouldn't, wouldn't she like go on a date when Jaden's already at home? Like, what's the bother? Well, you need to understand that sometimes when you have a crush on a person and they don't have a crush on you back, you still worry about their feelings and you don't want them to know that you have found a new obsession even if they never knew about your obsession with them in the first place so you just sort of want to still seem available so she is kind of keeping it secret like she doesn't want Jaden to know about Zoe until Taylor understands you know what she's feeling for Zoe herself and you know it's like um she has to figure this out she has to see where her and Zoe's relationship can go before she does anything, you know, too rash and just come out to Jada and be like, oh, I'm dating Zoe, by the way. Um, no, she definitely wouldn't do that. She wants to see how it goes. And only then will she tell her, 
you know, friend about Zoe because she's not even sure, like, if Zoe likes her. Like, she tried, you know, sort of hinting that she wants to meet with her yesterday, but then Zoe didn't never reply to her messages. So what's that about, you know? Oh, and she actually got a royalty report. So she got 87 simoleons for Without a Home and 108 for Loving in Spite of Things. Yes, girl. Yes. Wait, I just want to check one thing. I want to check if we could buy that book. Because I feel like I do, well, I do want to kind of see that as a plot at some point. Um, okay. Emotional. I mean, okay. Okay, frick it. Let's press show all. Please, game, don't die on me. And we're going to see if it shows up. So, wait, it should be somewhere with L, right? Mm, oh, no. Wait, so her books don't show up here? Wait, so how am I supposed to, so how am I supposed to, like, let her, wait, how can she possibly read it then? Okay. Like, I'm just asking because it, like, how can she possibly ever read Taylor's books if she can't find them here? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, we'll have to see about that. We'll have to see how we can play around with that. <laughs> and let's clean up, please. Please, Taylor. And just in case you're wondering, Taylor has never had any serious relationships with anyone. So just in case you're like, oh, like, Taylor has definitely been through some stuff. She looks like she's experienced um, no, she's very open about the things she believes and the things she feels and who she is, but she has definitely shied away from life in a lot of ways and mostly because, you know, of Jaden, because she did have a crush on her for so long that when she, you know, sort of got over it-ish, it was too late to find anybody in her life that was still there that would want her. Jamie, the girl she liked, actually sort of um, was like, wasn't having any of it. Oh, that's Zoe's apartment. Well. <laughs> um, so yeah, Jamie had left Taylor by then because she saw how obsessed Taylor was with Jaden. So she didn't have anybody for ever to really connect with and now she's taking her chance with um zoe and i feel like maybe we should just like travel with her oh wait 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 boiled ah oh, damn ah oh, damn well just go to work then i suppose okay she is off to work work hard and you are going to Hmm, could we go out? Hmm. Let's try and travel with her. And just to get away from the woohooing in the apartment because mm, let's pretend that they left the apartment before all of the woohooing starts. And Taylor didn't really like hear anything. She didn't really notice that it was Zoe's apartment. So we are going to go to Windenburg. And we're going to hit this cute, beautiful Brickley's ice cream shop restaurant, which is made by Silrose. It's on the gallery, so be sure to check it out. And we are going to go with Zoe Patel. Okay, so we are at this, <laughs> and they both have the most romantically um, inclined faces that I have ever seen. It's like, yes. Yeah, I'm so happy to be on this date. <laughs> oh, she looks so miserable. Well, they both do. So, yeah, this is the ice cream place. And it is so cute. It's just so, so cute. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, beautiful. 
And I think in the basement you've got the you've got the bathrooms. Gotcha. So we are going to request this table right here. Oh, this is actually the guy that sent us the earbuds and stuff. Cool. So we're going to get at this table. Zoe's already sitting down, being like, ah, uh, it's kind of nice here. And then she's just going to leave randomly. Great. <laughs> so happy this is happening. Okay. She's going to sit down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instantly, that face is like, ah, uh, so aggravated. Like, what was that woohooing sound in my building? And Zoe's like, I'm not going to mention anything right now. So we're going to brighten her day we are going to ask about her day you know what she's been up to and zoe's not going to mention you know anything that was going on in her apartment because i feel like she definitely kind of maybe has a thing for taylor as well or maybe she hasn't really figured out who she likes you know or whether she is ready for a relationship right now so I feel like she definitely wouldn't say like, oh yeah, you know, the woohoo sounds were actually me. I was just hooking up with the person. Um, just, you know, because that's like, I'm not into relationships right now. I just want to see how stuff goes. Because uh, I don't feel like Taylor would be into that at all. So we are going to flirt a little bit. Oh, and we should definitely order for the table. Yeah. She's single. Oh! <gasps> The flirtation! Ooh! That's so cute. Okay, we are going to get some... Let's get some root beer floats for the girls. And they should have... Oh, they have ice cream. Oh, mango sorbet. Mmm, delicioso. Oh, there's no dragon's breath? I kind of like it. Okay. Hmm. 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 I feel like, ooh, licorice. Oh, Taylor loves licorice. Okay, we're going to get licorice for her. A licorice gelato. And we are going to get the chilling mocha for Zoe. Oh, God. Yeah, they're going to get some ice cream. Okay. So they're chatting. Everything's cool. Let's um, compliment her appearance because Zoe is, she's pretty, pretty, if I do see so myself. I mean, she's not like, you know, just, 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 just look at Taylor. Like, look at this perfection. Look at those, look at that everything. And then look at Zoe and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, your eyeshadow is from like what, like Essence Cosmetics. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just don't feel like she's, you know, like up there in the hotness scale, but she's cute and Taylor likes her. So that's all that matters. And we're going to, to do, 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 we're going to give her, uh, what are we going to do? Hmm. We should impress with video prowess. She's like, oh, she's accepting her flirtation again. Oh, she's probably one of those people that's like, oh, video games. Oh, you play those. Oh, that's cool, I guess. She's like, uh -huh. but you know what I like? I love like this. I found this new pink lipstick at the Essence counter. And I feel like it's great. <laughs> no, no, it isn't, Zoe. It sure as hell isn't. Okay, we can't do a smooth recovery. So we are going to try and just do some friendly interactions and yak about her day. Um, you know, because I feel like Taylor can definitely be a little bit rusty. I mean, she hasn't flirted in a very long time. Oh! <gasps> She just said she doesn't like her that way. Oh, Zoe is a vendor at Hogan's Grub Stalls. She's a vendor in food stalls, and she's not into 
a writer who has video game skills? I mean, I'm sorry, but like, mm, okay. Let's, uh, let's be friendly though. Let's, mm, let's ask more things. Like maybe let's try and get to know her, you know? Let's see who we're really dealing with here because I feel like Taylor doesn't just want to find a shallow, you know, person she can get laid with. She wants to find a companion and stuff. And we should definitely, oh, maybe we should compliment her outfit. She's cheerful, so that's pretty cool. And we can try complimenting her appearance again because she's digging that. And Taylor's like, no, oh, it's the first date. I should, I should try. I should try harder. At least she's accepting the compliments. She's accepting the innocent flirtation and everything. So maybe we should just do that a little bit. See how it goes. Uh, maybe... Mm -mm, maybe we should brighten her day. Okay, well, the easy flirtation is fine. Let's try and get to know her some more. Let's let's dig deep. Mm, we can't. Damn, can we? I can't get to know her anymore. Let's let's have a deep conversation. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like um, like. I am way out of your league. <laughs> oh, baby, you're not. Look at yourself. I mean, Zoe, honey, you ain't got no arms. You ain't got no boobs. Your your eyelashes are inexistent and your eyeshadow is cheap. <laughs> like, And that hairstyle looks like you just haven't washed your hair in three weeks. And um, no, you don't, you don't get to just be like, uh, I am way out of your league with Taylor. I mean, look at this gorgeous person. Okay, we're going to try and... Let's try and exchange numbers. Let's get her number. Because I feel like Taylor would definitely try and do that. She'd be like, you know, I tried to get uh, to you yesterday. And I wrote you a bunch of messages. And, you know, you didn't reply. So maybe you have a number that I could use that would actually work. <laughs> oh. Oh, she gave her her number. <gasps> well, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, let's flirt some more. <gasps> oh, she was so happy. She's like, I'm so happy it's working. And let's compliment her appearance again. And I feel like, you know, they're not officially, officially on the date because like they didn't have a normal romance bar before. So I feel like she couldn't just be like, oh yeah, I want to ask you out. No, she's being subtle about it. She's being like, mm, you know, let's go out for some ice cream at this cute store that I know in Windenburg. And she was like, okay, let's go out. I love ice cream. I love root beers. And Taylor's plan was actually to find out if they have any compatible qualities. And I feel like her being cheerful is definitely something that Taylor can work with because, I mean, she's pretty positive herself, so she would definitely work with that. And, well, we can ask her to move in. Are you kidding me? What's, like, you can't even have a first kiss but with the person, but you can ask them to move in. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make dollars either. Okay, let's let's ask about her day some more. What else can we do to see? Um, let's discuss interests. Maybe that will reveal something about her. And well, let's discuss the flavor profile of this ice cream. Be like mm, licorice. Mm. It's like so good. It, licorice has like sweet and like that coolness in your mouth and just numbs your tongue. Mm. It's a perfect blend of like licorice and wet licorice 
is known for and like uh you know licorice and like black ice cream <laughs> and she's just like uh yeah i guess <laughs> i seriously wouldn't know how to describe flavor profile like what like what does it mean <laughs> she's basically trying to be a fancy person trying to impress her she's like maybe my video gaming skill didn't work but perhaps my knowledge of licorice will <laughs> Uh, let's, let's, um, let's throw in a pickup line and let's, oh, oh bold pickup line. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, let's throw in a bold pickup line and compliment her appearance once again, flirt, and then we are going to... Mm, let's confess our attraction. I actually want her to do that because I feel like she would. She would def like Taylor. Taylor is the like head-on sort of person. She would just go for it, and just be honest about it, honest about what she feels. Okay, she accepted the compliment. She accepts the flirtation. Yes. I am taking screenshots of the same damn thing, but that's just how I play, so there you go, guys. Okay, so she accepted that. There's no embarrassment or nothing, although she did make a weird face, so. Oh, the options has to be girlfriend, first kiss. Ooh. Let's blow a kiss. Let's blow a kiss. Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I need to get this. I want to see her blow her a kiss. She's like, <laughs> so cute when your brain freezes over. Which is like always. Oh, please don't be in the way. No, she's like, it's getting steamy in here. Okay. Hmm. Let's ask a risque question. Like, so have you ever been with a girl? <laughs> I mean, it's an honest question. I mean, they are flirting. They are, he's, oh my God. These just look like, you know, those like old people that, like are homophobic and like she's fine with it right because she's from San Machudo she's a liberal she has always been for like women's rights and like LGBTQ right those are all the letters anyway all the you know what I mean um rights and he's just like there are two girls on a date that looks weird <laughs> it's like but then he has like an awkward boner <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> They just look like those kinds of people. Um, okay. Wait, 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 wait. She asked a risky question. She's like, oh, well, I've never been with a girl, but I'd like to be with you. And she's like, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm feeling it. Okay. Let's. Um, uh, what could we do? We could. We could. Mm, we could attempt to seduce. I wonder what that's going to look like. Where are you going? Okay, finish your thing. Oh, oh my goodness. The promotions just keep on coming and they keep on coming. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to have her care for herself. And we are going to... Wait, wait, wait. What is that going to look like? Oh, it's the, it's the little dance. <laughs> She's like, okay, her eyes look kind of weird from like the side, but ooh, she's like, do you, do you dig my moves, girl? <laughs> do you dig my moves? But she had like this awkward face, like, I don't know if this is okay. Like, like, do people do this? Like, is this fine? <laughs> Oh, and she's like taken aback and you know what 
we are going to end meal and pay bill and then wait don't go wait we can actually use the thing wait did you see that was that like i had the same glitch in the single mom op like she had like that glitch where like you get like the date um moodlet but then it disappears anyway okay 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 <gasps> They look like they could be holding hands. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me just... Can we pretend that they're holding hands right here? <gasps> oh, let's, let's hold hands. Let's hold... Oh, we can't hold hands now? What? Say what now? Okay, let's embrace. She's like, I'm feel so flirty after our date. Don't run away from me, please. Why did you go inside of the thing? Why? No, but it doesn't matter if you hug here. I wanted you to embrace on the beach because it's hot there. Like, you know, because beaches are hot. Anyway, wait, maybe this is a prettier place. <gasps> yes, because there's nothing a magic here. Can they go here? Can Sims go here, please? Okay, so they could go here on the thingamajig. Let's go here. Let's go here together. It's going to get dark. Oh, it's going to be so beautiful. Please work. Please work. Okay, and we're going to have them, you're going to have her caress her cheek. Oh, come on! No, 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 go here together, go here together, go here together, go here together. Go here together. Okay, let's have her caress cheek. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, I need the perfect screenshot for this. Her face, it's so beautiful. It's like, oh, I've never felt, it's been so long since I felt good about somebody. And she's like, oh, you're so sweet. Oh. Still a better story than uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, and let's. Okay, let's have her hold her hands, and then we're going to have them have their first kiss. Well, stop talking about your bullshit lipstick company. She's like, okay, so she's like, you're so beautiful, and tonight was wonderful, and. To be completely honest, I kind of want to, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, she didn't push her away. Okay, 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 wait, wait. Now see, I know you people don't know this, but like, <laughs> when my sims kiss, also that mouth is way too open, but like, whatever. When my sims kiss, I'm just like, <laughs> girl. What do you mean 3,000 screenshots is too much? Um, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, and do we have, okay, and then I don't know what kind of other angle we could, oh, this one's pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna go any further this night. I feel like Taylor is definitely, like, into this so much. I mean, she's just, like, feeling like a whole new person right now. She feels alive. She, you know, she is feeling hot and heavy, just like the, just like the moodlet says. Ah, uh, the sweet shared touch of another sim. 
and I feel like just the touch of Zoe's skin is making her, you know, <laughs> burn up because <laughs> the girl's in heat, but she's definitely not going to take it further tonight. She wants to think about what happened today and she definitely will write something in the journal. Maybe she'll even write a poem because she did used to write poetry about Jamie and Jaden when she was younger. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. And I'm actually really, like, really intrigued with this LP. Like, this this day right here. Mm, mm, girl, you've got me fascinated with the dynamics of this relationship and the endless possibilities of drama. So <laughs> thank you all for watching. And if you have anything to say, comment down below. Like, um, subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so, so much for watching yet again. I am hopefully you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!